What's happening, everybody? This is the Traveling Salvation Show, your go-to channel for RV renovation, full-time eBay reselling, and full-time RV living. Here, you can learn to do any combination of the aforementioned. Perhaps you don't like RV renovation and you don't like RVs. Maybe you need the money to open up a kiosk in your local dead mall that airbrushes Motorola pager cases and sells beeper accessories. We can help you do that by reselling on eBay. That is a stupid idea, though, and it would be better if you just learned to resell on eBay and kept doing that. Maybe buy an RV and travel around full time while you buy and sell eBay merchandise. That would be a much better idea. However, today what we are going to do is we are in Volano Beach, about 10 minutes from St. Augustine. There aren't many Goodwills at all in St. Augustine, so we are going to head back up to Jacksonville and hit a handful up there. Then we will come back, probably check in with you in the morning because that is what time will allot us. And then we will show you around Volano Beach, probably hit the beach, hit the little town, and show you what an awesome, cool little town Volano Beach is. So let's do that. Let's go check out all that. And maybe we can get you that kiosk in your local dead mall. And you can make millions airbrushing beeper cases. No, they didn't. All right, Goodwill number one in Jacksonville, Florida. We'll see how it goes. that Pinky from Friday was going to be at the Goodwill either. Pinky! Not much there, but we did miss a rainstorm. Look at it. How was your water burger? It was so good. Man, that water burger was so good. We went out of our way to get water burger, and it was well worth it. When water burger's good, it's good. This is some type of Bose thing for $29. I don't even know what it is. It is, grab that trunk please. I just knew that it was Bose and for $29, I could at least make my money back. But it looks like whatever it is, everything's there. Got some power cords. Got a futuristic looking thing that says Bose on it. 
and this is what it is. It looks kind of like one of those speakers we had. Oh, yeah. No, it is some type of speaker. I know I can get more than $29 for it, so we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out if we can figure out how to even get it back in the bag. It's got a carrying <laughs> case. Kind of, you know you were high class back in the day, early bows when you had a carrying case for your Bose speaker. Going Bosing. Going Bosing. Going Bosing. All right, so we are back, but like I predicted, it's a little bit too late for us to show you the town. So what we're going to do is get some of this stuff in here, get it cleaned up, see if we can get it prepped to get listed. And then in the morning, we will hit the beach and then show you around the town of Volano. So stick around and see that. It's probably your last chance to see an old Florida town before they're all covered up with Holiday Inn Expresses and pizza places that resemble many mansion neighborhoods. Volano Beach Pier, which is a deco type spot. Check this out. We're gonna take a picture with this duck too. Is that a duck? That duck didn't used to be here. That duck actually used to be at the hotel there that had the brick up and down the side of it. And it's been moved quite a few times before it got here. Did you know that? No. It's Shocking. amazing. It is shocking. It is shocking that this duck has been moved this many times. The bird is shocked. The bird is even shocked that this duck has been moved so many times. But it is such a fantastic and glorious duck that it should be taken care of and moved numerous and numerous of times. You know, however, however many times it takes. Look, it might even say something down there about that. Yep, nostalgic travel days back in the day but we'll go look at the hot the hotel it used to be at that is a big blue duck yeah exactly oh crap chicken cross the road surely to get over there this place is cool if you had the money to put into it we looked at it it's nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars they had it designed like mike brady would have designed it in a drawing to look very nice but if you want this for nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars which is a cool building no doubt in a cool spot you can call them, call Sam, Samuel, Samuel Hale. What it used to be? I don't know. Maybe a motor in restaurant. That could have even been a house. I don't know. It kind of looks like it was. Yeah. That was a restaurant. That is where the duck was. The duck was right there on the end of, let me put my finger there, right there, right here. That's where that big blue duck used to see it right there. And then it was moved a couple other places before historic society finally took it. Look at that cool sign. See, old Florida. They are tearing all this down though. All this will soon be gone, just like they destroyed Panama City to build buildings like that. The Holiday Inn Express and that monstrosity Miami Vice looking thing right there. So not much longer that's actually where the surf shop used to sit and another small little motor in hotel used to sit but now we got mammy vice yeah. 
Now this place looks super cool at night. Hopefully we'll st still be down here. We'll come check it out and look at it. But when's the last time you saw a hotel like this? Motel, not a hotel, this is a motel. Look at that. Flamingo. That's old school there. That's old school there. How would it feel to be in room 104 or 106 at that? That's a sweet place. Look how cool that is. That is where you can drive down on the beach. You have to stop at that shack, check, and make sure. I think they make sure you got a recommend you got a four wheel drive, then you can drive down there. This is the super cool pavilion. I think this was built maybe in the 50s, 40s. I think it was post war, but this whole little town was kind of built in the 20s. But check that out. We saw a wedding there. Yeah, they had a wedding there yesterday. Yep. I think they was gonna have it on the beach and then they just moved it up under there. Probably didn't even pay for it. So, there you go. You ever wanna get married? Just move under the beach pavilion by the bathrooms. <laughs> There's the duck. Surfing. Are, the bridge in the sunset, which is where it's tended to see. A life preserver. I don't know. I'm not I'm not getting all of the symbolism, but there is symbolism there, obviously. It's probably like the, the Freemasons and the Illuminati and all of them. If you figure it all out like the Da Vinci Code, you'll probably find absolutely nothing like the real Da Vinci Code. That's the Mike Brady design that I saw online that I was talking about. So if you could envision that, plus $950,000, you too could be a restaurant owner on Volano Beach and probably be making a killing, honestly, but I don't know. Making Mexican restaurant, serve tacos, it's a lot of tacos. That's 950,000 tacos plus the renovation. That's, yeah. that's a million, that's two million tacos. And then you gotta add in the tacos and the employees. So you, yeah. That is three million tacos. Yeah. Looks like no sunset. Clouds have completely covered it up. We're gonna walk out there and we're gonna hope for a sunset, but it's probably not gonna be a sunset. Ready. The sunset is she kinda. Yeah, but it's covered up. <laughs> we found another piece of the Da Vinci Code. Look at that cross way over there. Bam. It was in those tiles we were just looking at. Maybe whatever it is is buried right there. What do you think? Um, yeah. You could come gear. Gear. You could come here and get your fishing poles yeah. and floppy hats to the St. Augustine Marina. How cool is that? Art Deco. Look at that. Look at that clock. Magic Beach Motel. Go try to come back here when it's dark and get a get a video of it. That thing looks really cool at night. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on the camera. But that was actually a TV show or something. What was it called? Um, Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor was filmed there. And I think the lady from Golden Girls, not Betty White, but the other one, the promiscuous one, Blanche Devereaux was in it in that show or movie or whatever it was changed our minds we're going down to the beach look at this this is sad right here 
Maybe we shouldn't be bringing sad stuff. Surfer died. Benjamin, his name is Ben. actually drive on this part of the beach right here and many people do if you do get lost you can always find your way by going to that lighthouse right there that is the lighthouse and there's Rebecca again dreaming about thinking about has her fantasies set on being a lighthouse keeper one day and she right now is in her mind making up stories of what it would be like in the 1700s to be in that lighthouse keeping record looking out for ships yeah. and what not whatever the lighthouse keepers watch them yep they just do the light they can go through with their hand but you know what i mean the light goes around in a circle <laughs> there it goes a circle it just circled it did yep just when you said that oh. here it comes Wait for it. There it goes. And if you look here, here folks is an exact replica. This, this is an exact replica of Weekend at Bernie's house where Bernie was dragged all over the place Bernie sold his Maserati while he was dead. Bernie gave away his Rolex while he was dead. All in the house, just like this one. Check out this little swimming pool right here. Right over the lighthouse. How awesome would it be to live right there? does look like weekend at Bernie's house. That is St. Augustine. This is Milano Beach.